Hmm. You know better, so you did better. Hmm. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Pink feel like I'm ready to bend. I'm a ten, so I pull in a can. Like Jazzy, Stacy, Ricky. All of the Barbies is pretty. Damn, all of the Barbies is bad. It girls, and we ain't playing tag. Hey vlog, so I'm trying to keep myself in a good mood because things are just, things just keep going a little bit not as planned, but I'm guessing that's because things were going so perfect and I don't know, maybe it just makes sense for things to not go so perfect anymore, but girl, I have been stressed out. Thankfully, things are getting together, you know, with my hair, my hair looks good. Shout out to Dre. He did a really, really good job. Mm. 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 Hmm, this is how they were supposed to look in the first place. Okay, so I'm happy about that. And they're not shedding. My bundles aren't shedding. So, oh wait, hold on, girl. Are they shedding? Hold up. Hold up. They are shedding. Not a lot, but... Not much. Still some hair that's shedding. Oh no. Wait. You probably can't see it, but I'm looking at the hair that's falling off my fingers. It's not a lot, but still, why? Okay. See, this is why I can't stand people. So when I went and got my hair taken out, she was using a razor blade to cut my bundles out. And so obviously along the way, she must have cut some of the bundles because this hair is like, I didn't process it that much. I put a 10 volume developer with toner. So it's just long pieces that were really just coming off just now. Not too much, so it's not shedding badly. Okay, there we go. I think I got all the hair that was shedding off. Yeah, I think I got it all off. to come through that um, needed to come off because it's not shedding anymore. So it was some pieces of hair that, oh gosh, wait, no, what is going on? I spent $800 on this hair, I'm not gonna play. Like, I'm really not in the mood. And you're like, 800 with bitch wear, bitch I know, shut up. Why every time do I pull it, something's coming out? I'm gonna, okay, there we go. All right, that's better. So, I'm gonna be using the lowest of heat on this hair, obviously, because I do not want to damage it. And I want to keep the length for as long as I can. And it's not shedding that bad. It's just a little bit of breakage, I'm guessing from the volume, from me putting the toner on it. 
I'm upset about that though. And then the heat. Hold on. I'm really like not the that. All right. <clears throat> so I'm using my detangling brush to comb through it. Um, thankfully, it's not shedding that bad. A little bit of hair did come off, obviously, because I put a, um, some chemicals in it. But other than that, as you can see, I think I got all the hair, the excess hair off. That I needed to get. So yeah, um, let me see. I need to do it twice without no hair coming for me too. But cool. So not that much hair shed it. I'm gonna show y'all how much hair just shed it off. I was just doing that. Here we go. So it's not too much hair, but still, you know, I did spend money on this hair, so I don't want it to be shedding. Um, no, but this is my first time getting a 613 bundles. So I usually get black, girl, and bleach it. Why? I don't know, don't ask me. I don't know no better sometimes. So this is my first time getting the 613 bundles, and I mean, it's cool. I'm about to get a little upset if I'm there. It's cool, you know. Um, it's not shedding as bad as I thought it would be because it's so blonde. But. And then, girl, for $800, I better be slaying. Because that's crazy. $800? But it's because it's already bleached. And, you know, I don't have to bleach it, I don't have to mess the hair up. Cause to get bundles this color, black bundles, girl, my stuff would have been breaking off like crazy. So, yeah, that looks good. And I'm also gonna put some Carol's Daughters oil in it to retain the length, yeah. But, so it's not shedding. I just brushed it all out, I believe, with my detangler brush. Of course, I'm gonna take it easy with the brush because still don't want to, you know. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I love it. Anyways, I wanted to show y'all some stuff that I got because I've been filming every day pretty much trying to while I am getting my devices together to edit on. Obviously, I record in high um, quality 4k footage and those files are very large since those files are so large a lot of my devices the storage on the device will over will get full and I won't be able to do anything anymore because the storage is full on the device and child was like, okay I need to buy a new device I need to get a new device I need to get a new device and a lot of course technicians will not tell you to not get a new device you need to get an SSD card. So I have a Mac Mini that was running a little slow and I wanted to upgrade the storage as fast, how fast it goes. I got a 7,300 MB SSD card. It was supposed to be here today. That's also why I'm mad because it's like nothing is going as planned. Like literally everything is just all over the place like so now i have to wait till either tomorrow or whatever um hopefully i don't have to cancel it because i want that specific ssd card because it goes it's a 7300 mb speed it's for gamers it has high speed on it and obviously with my macbook um you can't just plug the ssd card in there so you have to have a um enclosure this is called an enclosure this is what my ssd card is going to go in um it comes with a screwdriver to uh, take the screws out put the ssd card in and then hook it up to my macbook my mac mini and create more storage so i thought these end pieces were like Mac. Oh, these are Mac in pieces. Okay, I ordered. 
because I didn't know if I specifically needed this cord or if I could use any cord, but I figured I needed this cord specifically. So I also ordered some end pieces for it because um, this cord alone cannot go straight into my MacBook because my MacBook does not have these adapters. I don't think so, let me check. Yeah, my MacBook does not have these kind of adapters on there like in a MacBook would. So I bought some adapters for it. They were only like $6, I believe, and it came with four of them. I got them off Amazon. And I wanna use this cord, cause at first I was like, I'm gonna return these and use a regular USB, you know, like for the MacBook that has the, this kind of adapter with the regular USB cord at the end. I was like, I'll just switch it out. But from holding this cord and looking at it, I feel like this cord has the power needed for your enclosure. So I would suggest keeping the cord, not trying to be cheap and going ahead and getting you some adapters for it because you don't want to mess up your speed for your computer. You want it to go as fast as possible. And so these are some adapters to make it into a USB. This is the USB. This is, I don't, I forget what this adapter is called. This is for most, you know, the new adapters because they want you to spend so much money. And it hooks right on. And so now I can plug my, plug it into the enclosure and plug it straight into my Mac Mini. Um, but I don't have my SSD card yet. It hasn't came in, which I'm upset about. It was supposed to, but it didn't. So I keep all, um, I keep all of my little pieces, my S, my SD cards, whatever, like just little pieces of anything for um, my recording equipment. I keep it in this little gold case. But so since my SSD card is not here, I am going to start on my lashes because my eyelashes, I have half an eyelash on both of them. And I'm not gonna sit here and bitch and moan about my SSD card not getting here. I'm just go ahead and keep recording, keep it pushing, keep the energy positive. And my man's gonna hit me up here soon and we're gonna go out to eat and I wanna look really good when I see him because I'm trying to suck him off when I see him. Because we, um, last time we did it, girl, we were going for marathons. So, not always do we finish, if you get, if you, if you know, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Not always do we finish. Most of the times we do. Most of the times we don't. And we don't finish because we're not done. Like we literally like to go back to back to back to back to back to back to back for hours. Like girl, I'm talking about start at 1 a.m. and be up till 9 a.m. getting it on. I love it. I just love the fact that I found someone that can match my energy. Cause love making for me is not a thing where I want to be done in 30 minutes. I mean, I do like to be done in 30 minutes sometimes. It depends on the day. So if it's morning, day, morning, day, you know, it's the morning time. I like for the making love to be very short and sweet because it just is like, ooh, you just woke up. Ooh, let me get you right real quick. You know what I mean? And so get you right back. Let's eat breakfast. We got, we got stuff to do. We can't be up in here doing this all day. But, you know, at nighttime, sometimes I want to work out a little bit and just, you know, practice these new moves that I've been learning because I watch porn. I watch porn for two, three reasons. Three reasons. One, because I'm horny. Two, because I wanna learn something. Or three, because someone else is horny and I'm being forced to watch it with them. <laughs> so, with that being said, I be learning things. I be like, okay, ooh, okay girl, let's try that. You know what I mean? Like, I be learning little things, so. Sometimes we want to go for a couple hours, you know what I mean? Like literally like three, four hours. But it's not just me, it's him too. Two cancers together. Child. I don't think I've ever had sex like that before. I think I should pray. Oh my God. My soul feels nasty. But yeah, anyways, how am I gonna struggle with my nigga? 
Oh, because I'm going to do my lashes. Cause I'm going to go see him in a little bit. Not my nigga. My man. My man. My man. My man. I love him so much. That's my man. Watch Cairo's going to come in a little bit. Watch Cairo. My man. I just love my man. Also my man. I mean, I was talking about my other man, but I'm talking about you too. That's my man right there. That's my other man. That's my other man right here. Him know. Him know what him man means. Tell him I know what man means. Tell him I'm her man. This my man right here. Tell him, see, look. Say, look. I got a penis. Don't look too hard. Just, I got a penis. I'm a boy. But I turned to a man in August. Him turned to a man in August. I'm going to be four. Even number. I'm going to be the big even number. I'm going to be the four. And that's when him's going to be a real man. That's when I decide he's going to be a man. Going to be a man. You're already my man, but you're going to be big man. Mm-hmm. You already get the bitches. You're going to get big bitches, women, mm -hmm. women to where I don't have to give them treats for you. When they watch you, Papa, they're going to have treats already because they're going to already know he's not to be played with. That's big Cairo, not the little one, him four. Mm-hmm. For real. I tell you nothing but truth, no lies. Facts. All facts, no printer. For real. Tell him, say my name, Just say hi. Well, say what's up, say what's poppin'. This is a man, I don't know, boy, say what's poppin'. My name is Big Dick Cairo. Well, let me start over. My name is Sexy Daddy Big Dick Papa Cairo. And I take all the bitches. Yeah, I know that it's hard. Hard to hide. It's hard to be so handsome. And him got a monster in him pants. Of course him do, because it's my son. Of course. Is that weird? Did I say that? I don't think so. It's my puppy. Him a boy. Him got a big dick. I've seen it before. I did. And it was big. I was like, whoa. I was like, whoa. That's why the bitches love him. Well, of course. It's my son. So of course he got a big dick. My son don't got a little dick. No, oh, no, it's hard out here for a pimp named Cairo. Him named Papa Cairo. So he's he's Papa Cairo number two. Well, he's actually Cairo number two, not Papa. Papa was he's the first Papa Cairo. But my first Cairo was a pit bull, and he passed away from Parvo over about seven years ago. And I always I've loved that dog so much. That dog was that's me, Papa. That touched you. I touched him. He didn't. Um, even to the day, like, up to him about to die, he was protecting me. Like, he was protective of me. Like, people would walk past me. I was young. I didn't know what to do. Um, people would walk past us and he would growl. Your breath thing. And to this day, I remember that. I like that sweet boy, man. That was my first pit. And he was always protective of mommy. Like, always, her, her. Anybody that would walk past us, I miss that little boy. I'm so sorry for what I did to him. Mama didn't know. This shit kills me. But this is Papa Cairo number two. And so I vow to never let anything bad happen to Cairo number two. This is my only boy. And he's the man of the house, and nothing bad will ever happen to him. And I know people say don't ever say never, but that they don't know is we believe in God. And this vengeance of Jesus does not play around. This protection ain't no joke. This one right here is my everything. We love him. He's our man, he's our boy. Now get out of my face. I'm gonna do something with your life. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my lashes. 
I'm gonna take these off. And um, I'm already packed up, getting ready to for the road. Um, last night I stayed up till 3 a.m. cleaning up the house. Like everything is perfect for right now. My trash is ready to be sit outside. Like everything is pretty good right now. I'm, I'm in a better spirit, so I'm gonna drink. I still need to go get some trash bags. So that's what I So I got a vegetable medley with broccoli. The white broccoli, cauliflower, you know what it is. Corn, sorry girl, I'm like, ugh, I'm done. I just took me like three hours to cut my dog's hair and bathe them. It's just, ugh, so nice. I got some salmon fillets. I got some spinach. Corn. I got... Some yogurt for my fruit, my granola. I got some butter. I know this is the most most unhealthy butter to cook with, but girl, the lady was acting like she could not find anything butter. And then I wanted some turkey, and but of course, that's why I'm not doing this Instacart stuff no more. I wanted a lot of turkey meat so we can make sandwiches. She got the smallest one, but whatever. Then we got some breakfast bars, peanut butter flavor, some granola, no added sugar for my fruit and yogurt. Hold on, I'm just like so bright. Then I, then I got the, I don't usually get sweets. And I always have a sweet tooth the other night, so I decided to get some sweets. I got the 12 pack with the Oreos, Chips Ahoy, and the Nutter Butter. Then I got these bars, the Notch Nature Valley bars. I had one, my friend had one, a loose one, and I ate it. I forgot how good these are. These are so good. I wanted the 12 piece, because, girl, again, I don't usually eat donuts. But I've been craving donuts. I've been craving sweet stuff. So I got the Krispy Kreme glazed, regular glazed, original glazed donuts. And for my lunch meat, I got the pack of chips, the variety pack of chips. What else did we get? Got some cranberry juice. I did not want the cranberry juice cocktail. I wanted the 100% actual cranberry juice. That is again why I'm not using Instacart ever again because the lady kept acting like she could not get 100% actual cranberry juice. Cause I like to use my cranberry juice for my morning cocktails with my um, lymphatic liquid, my lymphatic medicine with my vitamins and all that good jazz. I like to drink it with my cranberry juice. So whatever. And I wanted birthday cake cookies. Again, lady was acting like she couldn't find anything. So she got me the birthday cake Oreos. And then Fruity Pebbles, this is my favorite cereal. I do not ever eat cereal. I literally have an appetite for only certain things. So I've been trying to get myself outside of the box and start, you know, doing different things, wearing different things, eating different things. And I never eat cereal. So decided to get some cereal and of course some orange juice. <clears throat> then I got some wheat bread for my lunch meat. Some carrots for Papa Cairo. He loves carrots. I'm actually gonna give him one right now. Papa, you want a carrot? Here you go, Dada. Y'all don't eat carrots. Oh wait, I think Camila does eat carrots. She just started eating carrots. But yeah, Papa loves his carrots. And then I got some pickles, some mini pickles for my sandwiches. And then Camila just started eating carrots. So I got two carrot eaters in the house now. So 
some mushrooms. Love me some mushrooms with my favorite vegetables. Then I got some almond milk for my cereal. Some Napolitan ice cream. She was asking why she couldn't find mint chocolate. Like, I'm never doing this to car again. Then I got the mini vegetable one. I didn't get the big one because the big one always goes bad fast. Then we got some meat. We got some boneless beef ribeye thin cuts. And then she got some of the boneless beef thin cuts. Same ones. Again, never shopping with Instacart. Again, that, these are the steaks that you fucking got, lady. Hold up, because this is not... She got me fucked. These are the meats that she... Thin ass fucking steaks. I got these T bone steaks over here, so I'm gonna cook with those instead. I need to frost them. Frosting. Towards the end, I realized the shoppers get tired. Like, they're just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna grab this, this, and that. Like, these thin, like, whatever, girl. Some onions, because I love cooking with onions. Cute. Oh, wait, no, this is a zucchini. This is not a cucumber. This better. Is this a cucumber? This looks like a cucumber. Also, I'm gonna start beating people up. That is, that don't look like a zucchini. We gonna see. Cause I wanted to do zucchini and squash, and then got some boneless beef loin flat meat, steak meat. Never going, never like, girl, what I'm gonna do with that? And more spinach. I, did I get two spinach juice? Oh, I did get two spinach juice. And I got two mushrooms. I didn't know that. Well, okay, whatever. Two mushrooms, two spinaches, some rice, some organic rice, and some cherry tomatoes. I love putting cherry tomatoes in my rice. But girl, that's all. I'm very disappointed because I only got two juices, waters and coconut. Like I literally kept trying to substitute a juice and she was like not trying to go get the juice. So there's two juices she did not want to go get. Like she would not sub she would not let me substitute something for it. Like she was like, oh I'm done. I just wanted to check out, check out. Like, girl, I got two juices now in my fridge. What am I gonna do with two juices? 
I know I've spent $300 on this. Whatever, I'm gonna just put this shit up and make the best of my fucking groceries and eat lunch meat, chips, and cereal, and vegetables. Oh, yeah, no one's out to be here yet, but he's here. Let me have him help me throw this stuff away. So it is, what time is it? 1.20 a.m. And I'm just up chilling. I'm hungry. And I'm very precise. Like everything I do is very like organized and weird. And I'm just like, it's very kind of, you know, whatever. Girl, I don't ever eat cereal and I'm about to like eat some Fruity Pebbles. Put some almond milk. And I'm really excited about this because I honestly have not had Fruity Pebbles and I would say about seven, almost a year. So I'm gonna have me some Fruity Pebbles. Why? I don't know. I just I just have like a particular taste for things and I only want certain things. I like the same thing every day. So that's kind of why. But we're gonna switch that on up. Start eating outside the box. I'm always eating the same thing. I bet this is gonna taste so good. Mmm. Mm. 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 those pebbles those big ones that are like um the cocoa puffs but they're like green and 
purple and red. Captain, it's Captain Hat, Captain Crunch. This tastes like little mini bites of Captain Crunch. Ooh, I want some Captain Crunch. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey vlog, so I know y'all are wondering what I'm about to do. I am about to cut my baby Camila the Diva's hair. I personally like to cut my dog's hair and give them a bath myself because I feel like it gives us a bonding experience and not even just that I learn to cut my dog's hair and it saves a lot of money I have a mechanical nail clippers their toothbrush the clippers for their hair and I've in invested in pretty much everything that I need to make sure that my dogs are nice clean and presentable because they are a reflection of me personally I learned to cut their hair a long time ago because it just saves so much money I do have three dogs and I feel like I do a pretty good job during the summertime I give all of them short haircuts and then as it starts to get colder I let them grow their hair out so yeah girl i'm gonna go ahead and let y'all watch me cut camila the diva's hair while we enjoy this music and we still i am so to the end still the same ones big up you already know we still the same ones When it come to chats, we don't take none Bad man Jamaican Trini Tang global sensation Mobbing till the day come, yeah, till the day come Red, white, black flag, daddy gon' shake some Green, yellow, black flag, rude gal, shake some We don't want no drama in this, so don't make none Mobbing till the day come, yeah, till the day come and the day came, still thumbing through the night, chance of light rain. I guess I really gotta show you about this Trini Kang. I guess this is how it is when you from the island, man. So I took a flight to Tobago, FOG down. Man's on the ends, Londonville to the sea town. Remo with a schema and a beamer with the T down. And she wanna know me, tell me, baby, what you need now? A little buddy. Bubble up your pop, mix the curry, go dummy. Whole fam, ice on no funny. From the veil to the veil, shout out Teddy, that's a tuggy. Still the same ones. When it come to chats, we don't take none. Bad man, Jamaica. Trinity Tang, global sensation. Mob until the day come, yeah, till the day come. Red, white, black flag, body gon' shake some. Green, yellow, black flag, rude gal, shake some. We don't want no drama in this, so don't make none. Mob until the day come, yeah, Mob until the day come. Say they want smoke when we see them, they don't say none. Yeah, they all talk on them stories they be made up. Really putting work all them nights, we done stayed up. Really from the islands, whole fan from Jamaica. Yacht man style when my come true. Cooling with my pops and my uncle Joints on stamp pipe jungle Shout out to my cousin, yeah, one, two yeah. Never force a vibe, let it come to you Okay. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna die right now, but I'm gonna ask him. Well, 
Okay. You might leave me a little bit more weed. Thank you. 
my booty looks really good. <laughs> I know some of y'all are wondering why I haven't got any new living room furniture yet. Well, the reasoning is because I finally decided to move and I don't feel like buying anything new right now for my apartment until I move at the end of the year. And I'm really excited because it's like I'll be going into the new year in a new space and I'm happy about it. So because trust me, girl, I definitely want a sectional. These royal chairs are not comfortable. You cannot throw yourself on them and just lay out. They definitely are more for like an office space. So I'm going to move them into my office area when I do move because I need a creative space. I paint, I sing, I vlog, I have a business, I have my office, I have all type of equipment and a one bedroom is definitely and not enough room for that so I'm gonna upgrade and I'm really excited about it I would get a home but I'm definitely not the type to get a home I'm a bachelorette you know and not even just that I feel like my first home is going to be an investment I'm going to flip my first home I'm gonna get my first home is not going to be for me to live in. I'm going to get a home out in the country to flip and invest in and definitely not some it's not something for me. I'm not going to sit there and have somebody mow my lawn, buy a refrigerator, all that extra stuff just for me and my dogs to live in. I'm more looking at townhomes here in Dallas with the four floors and I love that vibe for me because I am still, you know, dating or whatever. But I feel like if I was to get a house to live in, it would definitely be with my future man or with my husband girl. Like something where I'm gonna start a family in because that's just a lot of room and grow. I watch I watch a lot of scary movies. So you can only imagine like all that space. I would be scared at night. Like I'm the type that when I turn off the kitchen light, I'm running to my bedroom because I'm thinking somebody is chasing me. I watch that many scary movies. I'm a kind I'm a crime docu-series kind of girl. So right now I am rearranging my living room and decluttering because I have a lot of stuff that I've held on to over the years that I have no business hanging on to. So I hope y'all enjoy watching me declutter with my big booty in the pink switch. And let's listen to some of this music. Something in my brain causes stress So come and make me feel different You wanna hold, don't hold back oh, Your little drama's got me mad And I don't need to tell you facts You know I always want you back
Hey honeys, it's Pop Lock and Drop, and it's your girl checking in with you. So I've literally been sitting at this computer all day. I made me some meal preps, some salmon meal preps with some spinach, mushrooms, onions as a side, some mixed veggies as a side, covered in honey, and then some like cheese rice. But I started feeling really strange, like um, my speech was slurred, I started drooling, and I started getting really dizzy, like I just felt really weird. And then like when I touched, I picked up Cairo, my puppy, and when I picked him up and my other hand accidentally touched the back of his hand, I literally thought, I got scared. I thought someone else grabbed us. I didn't even realize it was my own hand touching me. I was like, hold up, I feel really, really strange. My, my boo was gonna come over here and check on me, but I told him to, it's okay, that I'm, I'm, I think I'm okay. I didn't know what was wrong, so I just called somebody real quick just in case I like started passing out and something started happening to me. I didn't want nobody to know that I fell or whatever. I don't know what that was, but I'm about drinking some water. I got the sauna running. I'm about to go sit in the sauna for like about 40 minutes. And I'm almost done with this course that I'm taking. I'm going to finish it before tomorrow, dead ass. And I'm honestly doing this for myself because I've honestly never completed, like, I mean, I've completed high school, but like most things that I get into as far as classes go, I opt out because it's so hard for me to sit there and listen. So I'm making myself do this so I can get the certification over with. This will be great for my skincare line. And skincare is just a big thing in the beauty industry. So I definitely want the skincare coach certification underneath my belt. But I need to refresh myself. So I feel like sitting in the sauna will definitely help me rejuvenate and then take a shower. But then again, I think I'm gonna do that and then throw on some pants and then walk my dogs outside and then I'll come back inside and shower and then get back in front of the laptop, roll up a nice little joint and then finish my night class. But I'm gonna go ahead, mm, excuse me. <laughs> I'm feeling better. So that's good because my friend was telling me the symptoms that I was describing sounded like a stroke symptoms. And I know strokes are not good, so I'm too young for that. So I'm glad I'm feeling just a little bit better. Just making sure nothing happens to me, you know? I don't want to fall and hit my head on that thing or... But let me change my clothing into something a little bit more sauna proof. <laughs> and I'm gonna jump in the sauna. I already have it running. It's kind of warm outside, so it's gonna be real hot in the sauna. But I cleaned up all my mess from cooking. I'm the type that I cook and I clean during, I cook, I clean immediately after I'm done cooking. I cannot stand it when people cook and just leave all the mess out. No. Okay, let me go in here and throw on some tights. And hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna throw on some tights and um, I'm gonna find a little tube top. Cause I low key, I'm probably gonna take off my top in the sauna. But of course I'm gonna wear my shorts cause it's all sweaty down there and that's just uncomfortable. So hold on girl, let me change. <laughs> Sorry, the lighting isn't, I look a hot mess. Like my friend wanted to come over and check on me. I was like, do not come over here. I'll FaceTime you or we could just talk on the phone. Cause I look a mess. I haven't done anything. Like I need to get my nails redone. I need to get my lashes redone, my hair redone. I need to get a, I need to wax. I need to go shopping. Girl, it's a lot. It's hard being a bad bitch, I swear. <laughs> I'm joking. It's hard being a full grown baddie, okay? Well, I got the phone and eat your damn food and drink your drink. You're gonna be sitting there forever. Relax. I'm just watching this little bit, you know? The sandwich was pretty good. Huh? The sandwich was pretty good. Huh? The sandwich was pretty good. Oh. 
Give me the get. distracted because I ordered a cream for my hips and my butt I'm not gonna say what the cream is yet because I want to use it first to make sure it actually works it is a natural plumper basically um, it make your booty and your hips big um, it makes it wide and it's a natural cream they have lots of reviews um, lots of followers and so I was like you know what I'm gonna buy this cream you know they have that they had hella followers and reviews so it made it very realistic and I love my hips and my butt so I bought me some and I'm excited to use it I'm glad she did a review but girl I'm gonna go ahead and get into my body sculpting I've been sitting here for a little minute like a little irritated with them but I'm gonna go ahead and get into my body sculpting routine and show y'all how I stay snatched so of course I use multiple different 
um, items to keep my body snatched. I have a full safe. Obviously, I use my latex waist trainer, which is an extra small. I wear that for eight to 10 hours a day. I also use this ab stimulating belt, which I honestly think is perfect for women after you get liposuction or if you have no fat on your belly. I think this is perfect. And then I also use my wood in therapy roll belt is what I call it um, on my stomach area and on my back. I love this. You can feel an instant difference after you use this. And wood therapy, I believe also um, helps break down fat cells. If I'm correct, I have to go back and look. I'm not really sure. I'm not too, you know, up to keen on the whole wood therapy thing. I used to do, um, I used to be interested in the whole body sculpting and doing body sculpting services for people, but I'm honestly just realized I'm not a worker. I'm a boss. I'm the type of person who, that's why I'm opening up my shop because I feel like I'm that type of person that has a shop that does booth rents and stuff like that but i'm not like the somebody who's gonna sit there and physically work i'm the type of person who's gonna tell people what to do keep things in order keep things you know going and everything's gonna go right on my watch but anyways so i also ordered this conductive gel from amazon and i also i got two of them well no it came with two and then I also got this ultrasound transmission gel. Um, I ordered all of them and I feel like um, you definitely ooh, want to be careful on how much you use because it's not cheap. And it's also you have to get a water based gel for these machines. So first I'm going to start off with putting some of my conductive gel on my stomach. That way, whatever I do, whether it's my wood therapy or my belt, it'll be a smooth transfer. And also this conductive gel just helps with um, sculpting. So I'm gonna put that all on my belly. And first I'm gonna get the blood flowing. So I'm gonna use this first. You don't have to go too hard with it. At first, just kind of get the blood flowing and wake it up, wake up the skin, get on the sides, like it feels so good on the sides. Oh my gosh, oh, it really feels that good, like I'm not exaggerating. You have to realize just because I look like this does not mean I'm healed up. My skin is still very tight, I'm not fully healed up at all not even close well I'm getting better and better obviously I'm getting closer but I'm not healed like ooh mm. mm. ooh yes baby alright so now that I got that blood flowing I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my cavitation machine. And first we're gonna start off with this one, which is a cavitation, and we'll use this one last. So we're gonna go ahead and press enter, cavitation 4K. Now when you're using at home devices, the best, for the best results, it's best to use it at the highest voltage that you can get the machine. So, but also with this machine, it says you're not supposed to use it for more than 20 minutes. So we're gonna go for 20 minutes. I'm going to put it at the highest level. So for the highest level of home at home machines is equivalent to the lowest level for professional machines. So and then also um, for the for getting results as you would get at a professional place, you would need to use this machine three times. So for three times using this machine is like one time going for one session at a professional place. So you would need to use this a lot more obviously than if you were to go to a professional place, but you can still achieve those results. But obviously you'd have to be consistent with it. Girl, I'm going to put on some TV so I could watch a little bit of something while I'm doing this. I'm not going to really talk too much my hair is getting drier and drier by the minute 
I'm personally gonna find something to watch while I do this. Cause I'm gonna t I'm gonna guide y'all a little bit on how I do it, but once I do that, then I'm gonna go ahead and move on to watching some TV. I'm not gonna talk y'all's ear off too much because it's really basic. I'm gonna find something nice to watch though. And then I'm gonna get ready for the rest of my date night. You know, I have been dating. I'm finally getting to the point in my life where the work that I've put in is having results. And I'm also moving to the part of my life where I'm finally going to have a official career. And what I mean by that is, of course, when I was 25, 26, 27, 28, um, well, 25 to 27, running all the businesses that I was running for my skincare, my hair, my lip glosses, my books, my coaching classes, my YouTube channel, my music, my Sugar Baby Academy, you know, all those um, different avenues like that. I was manifestation books, selling, you know, freaking blenders and waist trainers and I was selling so much different so many different things so um and what I mean by an official career I finally now know what has made me the most money out of doing all those things I have all the skills and what I need to focus on so moving into that part of my life and finally taking that huge gamble on myself and knowing that this is going to work for me no matter what this is going to work i have to i have no other choice you feel me so i have been dating now that i'm you know a lot as far as you know moving on from the whole little sugar baby side of my life and you know letting it go or whatever so i have been dating and it's been fun and um well kind of fun not always you know of course not always do you run into people who you mix with but I have been dating only one person in general and it's been it's been dope so I'm getting ready for date night and whatever so let's find something to watch leaving soon let's watch seven because the key oh no we're not watching a two-hour movie continue watching this will continue watching House of a Thousand Corpses. It's like a scary movie. I was into it last night, so we're going to go ahead and finish watching it. I did finish watching the Gabby Petito story. That honestly sucks. That a man is that much of a coward that you killed your girlfriend, went that long without telling people anything, and then you went and killed yourself. Like, just a coward. Like. But anyways, let's get into this. So... I'm not going to start off with putting my, wait, let me pause the TV. <laughs> Sorry, girl. So I'm not going to start off with my conductive gel because, of course, like I said, you want to try to keep that gel for as long as you can. So what you do want to start off with is this cavitation machine here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my Aquasonic Ultrasound Transmission Gel on it. Um, so first I am going to add this back to my ab and whole abdominal area. I'm going to put this back on there. You really don't need much because it is water soluble and it spreads really easy. So just like that. And then I'm going to use my transmission gel on the Use my transmission gel on it just like that. Can you see it? <laughs> yeah. All right, and then I'm gonna press start on this machine and you can feel the beam, hear the beam. I'm gonna switch it to mode B because I did mode A yesterday. And we're gonna press start. Hear that? In circular motions it is very loud like when you put it onto your body the beam that you heard 
is now being trans, like literally transmitted inside your body. So you can hear the beam all in your ears. It's not comfortable, but it's worth it. And push down when you do it. You only want to use this machine 20 minutes tops a day and only three times out of the week. You do not want to use it every day. No, I'm not a medical professional, but I have done my research obviously before using it. So I would know how to use it. I actually use it a lot on my belly button area because my belly button has this little bit of fat on it that kind of sticks out just a little bit. But I've seen that on some girls um, and, and there sticks out a lot. Ooh, that feels weird. Definitely doing something like for sure. It's kind of scary doing it. This machine used to be $500 on Amazon three years ago. It's now $300. So some things do go down. They don't inflate everything. open the door she's the only one that knows how to open the door it's really annoying she knows how to open all these doors except for this one because it opens inwards but any door that pushes out if you can't if you don't lock it she's gonna push it out with her head i love that about her though she's so independent <laughs> just be moving around the house like a little human all right so i'm gonna go ahead and finish doing this and i'm gonna watch my tv and put some music over the rest
Hey boo, so I just got done using my cavitation machine. I'm gonna go ahead and move in with the multipolar machine. This has a red light on it. I'm only gonna use it for 15 minutes and I'm gonna use it at the highest level. I'm also gonna use it on mode B since I used mode A yesterday. Press start and see. Hold on, let me turn this light off so you can see the red light better. And this is gonna help move the fat cells that you just burned and move them around and get rid of them for good and personally girl i don't know if it works or not with what i'm doing but i like to move it down because i feel like if i'm moving these fat cells that i just burned out the way i'm gonna move them to my hips okay so i move them down right here to my hip get rid of them and if they're gonna come back to life or whatever come back to life in them hips okay and this feels so good like it hurts but it's like a good pain so yeah I'm just gonna do this for 15 minutes get it to the hip get in there don't be scared to get up in there it may hurt a little bit but that's that good hurt Ooh, that's that good hurt my belly button for sure because I don't want that little cleft belly button. I'm going to use it for this whole month and see if I can see any results. And I'm definitely going to gonna keep y'all up to date on my results. But it's doing something for sure. Like, I can feel it in my sides. And when I use it on places that don't have any fat right now, it honestly kind of stings. Like I can feel it pulsating on the muscle or whatever it is. So it's doing something for sure. Is that a fat? That's oh. really match. First, I'm gonna stop and get me a margarita to get this day started right. Well, the day's almost over, but ah! <laughs> get something started right, girl. Let's go deposit this money. I was thought I was gonna go to a pool party today, but I guess not. see my friend but they're taking way too long to respond and it is what it is I am it's too late now I've already wished them a farewell for today so whatever plans they thought we were gonna have those plans are canceled the thing about me I ain't waiting around for nobody I ain't desperate to hang out or be around nobody shit so have fun today you saw me texting you two hours ago. Like, how the fuck you want to be mad because you can't stay at my crib because somebody's already at my crib and then because of that, you don't want to text back. Okay, fine, bye. Have fun. Don't text me back now. My mind, when my mind has changed and my mood has changed, it's over with. My mind and my mood has changed. I don't want to see you no more. Have fun. About to get me a margarita, go get my nails done, get my lashes done edit probably see if my girls want to get out today oh, there's no parking down this way i didn't realize they just got out of the spot so oh wait they're gonna take their spot damn it now i gotta go straight 
Yeah, but I thought there'd be a parking spot right here. Let's see if there's a parking. Mm -hmm. Go, what you doing? Go. Go. Don't wait on me, bitch. Mind your business. About to take his spot. He just left. Let me try to hurry up. Before somebody else takes it. I just want a margarita. I'm not even gonna get no taco. Margaritas to go. Oh, uh, I'm about to try their margaritas. Let's see what kind of margaritas they got, y'all. It says margaritas to go. I didn't even realize they had margaritas to go here. Let's see what they got. Got it. I got me two margaritas, girl, because you know I like to day drink. It's way too damn hot. And day drinking helps me keep a good mood. So I got two of them. And I'm about to go ahead and head to the car wash first, because I'm not about to be running errands with a dirty car. Ooh. See, look, it's time to get my nails redone. My hair is getting caught in my nails. And plus, I gotta go out of town tomorrow, and I'm not gonna go out of town needing things done, because I do not trust people. Where my second apartment is, I don't trust the people there to do my aesthetics the right way. Because it's predominantly a white area that I'm that I my second apartment is in. Um, so... And not that I don't trust white people to do my stuff. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I'm not familiar with the area. I've never got any aesthetics done out there. So I don't want to spend a lot of money or waste my money or waste somebody's time and not want to pay them for things. Because like nails like this, you have to know how to do long nails. You have to learn how to, you have to know how to do nails in general. And then you have to know how to do long nails because long nails are way different than, is the effort that goes into long nails is way different than you know short damn her hair is freaking gorgeous but girl can i can i make a wig out of your hair please that wave pattern is immaculate see how i run a bitch i'm making it that's what i'm ordering next is a dash cam so i can start showing y'all the way people be driving and then look they're gonna get right in front of me again I'm not dealing with this car right here. Not even by far. Like you knew you wanted to get in that lane, but still chose to get in front of me and then getting over there. Like, make up your motherfucking mind. Which which lane do you want to be in? Sir, ma'am, whatever the fuck you is. Like, figure out your lane. God damn it. I'm gonna leave my hair to the back because it's way too hot to be having it all in the front. Girl, let me sip my margarita. Ooh. 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 It's a little strong. Excuse my little hairies. They are getting on my absolute nerves. I'm going to get my hair done tomorrow. <sighs> Mainly because, girl, my camera is... I'm upset with myself. My camera's about to die. Well, no, we got enough battery left. I would have got everything done today, but I woke up kind of late. I'm not gonna lie. I was exhausted last night. Totally exhausted. I was passed out. And then this morning, I woke up pretty early. But, so yeah, I'm gonna get my hair done tomorrow at two. I was gonna knock it all out today, but I woke up late. So getting my hair done is out of the picture. I'm about to just run through this car wash and then go up to my nail shop 
and get my nails filled in, get my toes redone, and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go ahead and change the color on the nail and do maybe like um, a cream white. probably get a different color and maybe do like a I don't know because I feel like with long nails you could only go with so many colors because I feel like long is already long and if you add like real ghetto and like crazy colors it's just gonna give you that like shenane look so yeah I said shenane for the sensitive ones oh my god yeah yeah shenane why only shenane gotta have long nails why, why, like, girl, shut the fuck up. You know what the fuck I mean, okay? Some people really be trying it on here, like, trying it. Like, trying to make you out to be, like, colorist, when in fact, they are the ones that are colorist. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, even, like, I had made a comment. I had said, because somebody, like, in an old video was asking me if I said I was getting beat up by my ex, which I have no idea where anybody got that, like, I'm never like, what do you mean? <laughs> so, um, I was like, I'm too light skinned. Like you would be able to tell if I'm getting beat up. And a girl ran with that and was like too light skinned. You think you too light skinned to get beat up? Like, bitch, that's not what I said. I said, I'm what? I'm not even, I'm not even going to correct what I said. Cause I don't, if you're that delusional and like that desperate for somebody to be racist or colorist, by twisting their words that much, girl, more power to you. You're right, I'm a, I'm a colorist. You're right, boo. Like, I don't even argue, I'm not even gonna argue with people anymore. I just like to agree. I'm just gonna agree with you. If you think I'm this, that, and the third, you're, you're right, I am. I'm all them things, girl. You, you so right. You so motherfucking right. I'm all those things, baby boo, baby girl. Like, even with the baby mama video, So I was like, oh my God, you sound like you're mad at her. How do I sound like I'm mad at someone whose man left them for me? Why, she's mad at me. Like, you, what, some of y'all be just like really like, I be concerned. I don't know about y'all, but I like to have a membership with my car wash. I chose Zips Car Wash, which is a neighborhood car wash in my area. I personally like having a membership because you can pull up whenever you want and get your car washed. The only thing that I don't like is they don't have a detail service, but that's okay. I like it because it's like valet. You pull up and the gate opens up for you to go through. And I love it when it's a long line of people waiting because they have to pay and I get to just pull up and go through. It always makes me feel a little bit special. But yeah, girl, I love this car wash and I like smoking while I'm getting my going to the car wash and listening to some relaxing music. But then again, girl, it's just like for a couple of minutes. So, you know, enjoy the time by yourself while you can. Left Sally's. I'm headed to Nail Nail Bar now. I'm kind of hungry. Girl, let me put my damn phone. On. I don't know why none of my stuff is charged. My cameras are about to die, both of them. My phone is about to die. Girl, I don't know what's up with me. And I didn't bring. I usually bring a case with my chargers and an extra battery, but for some reason I like did not do that today. But that's okay because I'm going to um. 
if my cameras do end up dying before I get to take y'all with me to Big T and stuff, I'm just gonna tap in with y'all and show y'all what I ended up getting. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go to Nail Nail and slay these nails. I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm not sure what color I'm gonna get yet. So I guess we'll just end up seeing what I, how, how I feel. But I do wanna do a nice classy color. I feel like with long nails, you should have a classy color. So, red, red was cute for the time being. I don't think I wanna do red again though, cause I'm tired of it. Or I could do black. But no, who wants black long ass nails? I'm debating, I'm debating. All right, so we just finished. I got the cute gold and I got white toes. I'm headed to uh, Big T to go find me a cute sundress before they start trying to close. And then I'm gonna run home and get dressed real quick and go to this pool party. I do not have any, well, I'm glad I left my margarita in here. That's why I got two of them. <laughs> oh wait, girl, my extra cups are stuck to it. And it's still cold, a, but I don't have any shoes that would match. And I'm going with some some very attractive people, so I want to be attractive also. And y'all, I'm just so happy I made up with Bob. Y'all remember Bob, the only girl like I'd ever have in my YouTube videos, South from South Africa. I'm so happy I made up with her. I miss her so fucking much, and I'm so proud of her. Y'all go follow my boo at Bob underscore Falon. Girl, she done got her a new car. She done got her some new titties. She got her some new money. I'm so proud of my baby. Like, that's dope when you like meet up with your friends after not seeing them for so long and they've just like completely upgraded their whole life. I just fucking love it. I love that for her. She deserves that. So yeah, y'all go follow my boo. She hasn't texted me back yet. I was gonna see if she wanted to go out with us. But and I'm only surrounding myself with baddies from here on out. Like, and by baddies, I mean women who have their stuff together. I'm not talking about how pretty you look. Cause there's girls that aren't the most attractive, but have their shit together. And that's the kind of girls I want to be around. Cause I honestly sometimes surround myself with women that I used to be like. Cause I didn't used to always be a baddie. You know, I used to, I'm not, I'm, I've never been a bum. I've never been a bum, never. I've always been the type to hustle, get my money. Even when I was working nine to five jobs, like I was the best at what I do no matter what. I've never been a bum, but I always, I've never been at the level I am. So I've surrounded myself and I'd be comfortable with surrounding myself with girls who used to be on the level that I used to be on. But being friends with those type of girls comes with issues because they don't got no money to go out. They need a ride. They don't have their hair done. They don't got their nails done. They don't, they're not together. Damn, I'm gonna have to pull up to this motherfucking party with my goddamn busted windshield. My windshield's busted, y'all. I'm not even gonna tell y'all how it happened because it's technically my fault. So, yeah, I'm only surrounding myself with women who are on my level, who are upgrading themselves, who are you know, investing in, in, in their selves, investing in their look. I'm tired of hanging out with women who just don't have shit going on with, them, with their life. And just hearing about their lame ass stories be the cherry on a cake. Like bitches like be talking about some, like for instance, a girl will have a boyfriend. He cheats on her all the time. They both are, you know, not doing good at all. And then like this girl that I know, who I, I don't necessarily want to be, I'm not gonna be friends with her like that anymore. She's gonna be just associate and associate. But for instance, her excuse to being with him is because he pays all her bills. Girl, what bills? Y'all have been together for 10 years. Y'all live together. That's not your bills, that's y'all's bills. He's paying y'all's bills like he should be. Y'all been living together for fucking 10 plus years. So you're staying with him, even though he cheats on you all the time, it's because he pays y'all's bills. And not even just that, the bills that he's paying are nothing of substance. You don't live in a nice apartment. You don't drive a nice car. You don't have nice clothes. You don't have nothing of substance. Like, so what you're staying with him to live a regular life, a, not a regular, a below average life. Leave him, you're beautiful. 
you're gorgeous leave him and upgrade you could i mean if you can't pay those lame ass bills on your own then you don't have any need to be out here trying to like or wondering why you're not living a luxury luxurious life because you can't even pay below average bills on your own girls like that i'm done dealing with i'm done hanging out with girls. i don't i hate hearing them stupid ass stories like what you're staying with him because he's paying below average bills no thank you baby boo i want to be with girls that want the best out of life want the best man out of life just want the best because i want the best i want it all go ahead baby i don't care go ahead we all if we could drive fast let's drive fast together i'm trying to get the big t and get this outfit i'm gonna just find me up i might see a couple things that i'm gonna grab my wax is finally to a better consistency to where i can do something with it before it was way too milky and it is still too wet but i can make it work i think or i might just go ahead and give it a little bit more time to saw it up well no i could use that right there that's a nice consistency so I'm actually gonna go ahead and get started on my punani area. I ended up shaving my armpits yesterday. I don't ever shave. I was just in a rush to go to this pool party and I just didn't have time to put my wax in the oven. I felt like I didn't. So I already shaved my armpits, but I'm gonna go ahead and take off these pants and do my punani area so I can go ahead and jump in the shower and get my hygiene going, get my hair done. I, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple curls in my hair. And I don't really wear makeup, so I'm gonna just do some highlight. But I, but, um, so it usually doesn't really take me long to get ready. I love waxing myself though. I've been waxing myself for a while now. I love it. I honestly wish I would have started waxing myself a long time ago. Waxing like saves yourself, saves you so much money. Started. Okay, that's a good consistency. It's just this waist trainer. It makes it hard for me to see what I'm doing. So I'm actually gonna take this waist trainer off for now so I can Get up in there. Plus, I'm going to need to take it off anyway. Ooh. Because I'm about to get in the shower. All right, that's better. Now I can see my kook off. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to get some. Make sure you wrap it so it's not leaking around everywhere. And that right there is good and just keep twisting it around and then girl get you a nice little area and i'm gonna go ahead and do a few different areas they can all dry at the same time and i could just get it over with And make sure you press down when you do it. That way it gets it grips all the hairs that you're trying to get up.
Now I'm gonna let those pieces dry. And I'm gonna rip them up. And I try to wax every two to three weeks. I try not to let it get too full grown because once it starts growing out way too much, it's so painful. So when it when it's when you just wait like two weeks, the hair's not the hair's really fine and not that much growth. So it's a lot easier to do smaller spots than it is to do big spots. <clears throat> Let me make me another drink. keep sticking to the other lip. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and rip up one of them. All right, let's go. Ooh. Ooh. I swear it's like the older you get, the less pain tolerance you have, I swear. that spot again because it didn't really take too good Ooh. oh it's like I can't take it right now let me drink a little bit more I'm usually able just to rip it up, but I don't know, my, taint, my pain tolerance is like really bad right now. Ooh, ooh. Got that one. That was the side bikini line area. That looks really nice. The key is just to rip it up, not try to be too scared. I'm being scared right now. Ready? One, two, three. Mm. Mm. Got that one. It's a nice pool. Looks good. Ooh. Hope I. I hope soon that I just don't grow hair no more. I did just buy me a laser hair removal equipment, so I'm gonna start using it soon. I'm gonna let y'all know how it works out. All right, let's go. Mm. 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 Ooh. Ooh. It's not getting these little stubby, so I'm gonna push down a little bit harder, seeing if it can rip these little bitty stubbies out. Oh damn, my stick just broke. Let me get another stick. My stick just broke. sticks oh fuck. I guess I don't have any more sticks well I guess I'm gonna just use this one since it's the longest one Oop. okay one 
two, three. Mm. Mm. Got that one. All right, I'm almost done already. I don't have much hair. Just wanna do a little cleanup. Let me check my phone because somebody just texted me. I totally forgot to book our tickets to the movies. I did, I offered to pay for um, the tickets mainly because I'm the one who made the idea. I mean, I'm the one who came up with the idea and off like, um, I'm the one who came up with the idea to go to the movies. So I feel like since I did that, it's only right that I pay for the tickets. But of course, I'm sure my date's gonna pay for the rest of everything else for the night. And it's only $23, like, and I don't mind, I don't mind paying some things for my guy. What do you mean? Wow. pay for these tickets. I don't know why I forgot I'm just not doing this. Oh shit, my wax. Damn it. Girl, let me go heat my wax back up. Ugh. It just dried out while I was doing this. So I just got our tickets from Studio Movie Grill. So yeah, it starts at 11 p.m. We have an hour left. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish ripping these off. Ooh. And oh, mm, mm. then I'm gonna get in the shower real quick. Oh, mm, mm, got it. I just hate how it left a lot of little stubbies behind. But I'll clean that up in a few. Let me throw this away. 
girl all my little pubic hairs <laughs> i'm gonna throw these in the trash and i'm gonna get in the shower y'all pretty much know my shower routine if you haven't seen my shower routine hmm, i'm gonna put the video right here because my shower routine my shower routine has not changed from that I still use this sh the same shower filter. I still use the same native shampoos and body washes and my derma roller and all that good jazz. So let me go throw this away so we can go get in the shower because girl, we got about like an hour left to get ready. Got the shower. About to go ahead and do my hygiene real quick. So first, I'm gonna brush my teeth, girl. Super important. I'm gonna use my water pick. I got this off of Amazon. I love it. It works really good. gunk out of your teeth i have porcelain veneers 
so I try not to floss because it and I just don't like to floss because it also messes up my gums it irritates my gums a lot when I'm flossing okay I'm gonna brush my teeth I like to use this new hello charcoal epic whitening toothpaste that my friend introduced me to I don't know why it's been doing that lately. Like, I can't get it to lock. Really? It's like not locking. I don't get it. And never forget to brush your lips. No guy wants to kiss on no crusty lips. gonna scrub that tongue with this nice little scrubber that I got I think I got it from Target or something <coughs> if you're not gagging you're not doing it right and then you want to go in with your tug and scraper to remove all the stuff that you just scrubbed around and loosened up. Or you gonna get some mouthwash. So personally, my favorite mouthwash of all time is Smart Mouth. I love, 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 love this stuff. You literally don't need much, and it knocks out all the bad breath. I was gonna throw some curls in my hair, but I don't have time, so I'm just gonna straighten this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my straightener, and I'm going to moisturize my body with Jergens. I love Jergens. I like to put it on my Punani area for the most part. I only use it on certain areas, and then my face. Because I just got done cleansing. 
And then I'm gonna go in with my, then I'm going with my Nivea shampoo, my Nivea lotion. This is my favorite lotion to use on my body because it just gets the job done and it feels really, really nice. And it looks like you got oil. It's oil and lotion, I believe. Yeah, almond oil is mixed into this Nivea that I have and I love this one. It smells so good. I gotta be careful on the back of my arms because I get it like on the back of my arms, so it does feel a little funny sometimes. Always dries my feet. I'm still not sure what I'm gonna wear. Only because I gotta dress casual, and y'all know I'm the worst at dressing casual. on my calves Dude, my legs are hairy i just got out the shower why didn't i shave oh my gosh <sighs> it's okay i'm gonna wear pants i could have sworn i just shaved well this leg is shaved so i guess i shaved my other leg half ass ridiculous okay so that's all good Next, I'm gonna use my deodorant. My favorite deodorant right now is this mince deodorant, sea salt wild lavender. I love this one, it smells so good. Bam. Lastly, I'm gonna put on some pheromones. So I'm gonna put on these pheromones and I'm gonna top it off with this body mist magnetic candy that I got from Target. I'm just gonna put some on my wrist. This is really good for girl watch. Put it on and see how your man acts around you. Like he's just gonna wanna, he's gonna be so attracted and he's gonna wanna just swallow you up. And I put a little bit above my punani area. And I'm going to go ahead and spray myself my body mist. People always compliment me when I wear this body mist. Now, let's go ahead and get this hair together and get a little bit of makeup going and start getting dressed. All right, and lastly, I'm going to put on my booty cream. I'm not going to tell y'all what cream this is yet because I just started using it. I don't want to put y'all into something that I don't even know the results of. But it's supposed to naturally plump your butt and hips and you know i just had my bbl so i want to keep my results for as long as possible and get the best results so i do use it as recommended twice a day and of course you want to use it after you get out of the shower so you don't wash the cream off yeah girl Ooh, get all up in there get all up in there Alright, so I'm going to start on my hair because I don't have much time. It's I'm the movie starts at 11 and it is 10:40, but I'm not doing much, so it's not going to take me long to get ready. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay these down a little bit, and I'm actually probably going to wear a bucket hat. I feel like wearing a bucket hat. Oop. Or I might just leave my hair out since I did just get it done.
just like that. I'm not gonna do really like any more than just that. Ooh. clean up my eyebrows I do have some hair going on here Up. Well, I'm going to do my lips real quick. So I'm going to be using my ombre lip liner that I got from the Buddha Supply. Just cute little lip liner here. I'm going to outline. And if you hear anything in the background, it's my TV. I do leave the TV on for my dogs when I leave. All right, now I'm gonna use the other side. no gloss yet. I'm going to put some gloss on. There we go. And I'm going to do a little bit of highlight. Ooh. Like when I say I don't like wear makeup like that, I really don't. Like I don't do foundation. I personally feel like, of course some people love their foundation and need it. I personally just feel like foundation makes your skin even worse. I literally have had this Artist Couture highlight right here forever. Literally forever. Girl, I've had it for two, probably two, three years and it's still a lot in here. Put some highlight on my nose. Put some highlight right here. A little highlight here. And then I love my nose hair trimmer. I feel like all girls should have one of these. Like who really wants to be sitting there talking to their boo? And you got nose hairs all hanging out of your nose. Nobody wants that. So, girl, yes. Get all up in there. Perfect. And now, I'm gonna put on some earrings in my jewelry. So I took some psychedelics literally right before um, I started drinking because I kind of want to be, I heard psychedelics are really cool so I wanted to try some and I wanted to be scared out of my fucking mind when I go see this movie. So 
that is why I took some psychedelics and I'm definitely gonna know how I'm gonna let y'all know how I feel so I don't usually do psychedelics like that but my friend had some like psychedelic treats so I was totally down to try some and I'm gonna put on my ring I love these rings they are so cute and I'm gonna go ahead and put on my necklace my infamous necklace because even though my date said he's going to dress casual, I'm going to dress a little casual, but I'm still going to spice it up because I am a girl, girl, girly girl. There we go. All right, let me put on some panties. put my panties on and my outfit I'm gonna go ahead and wear this silk outfit it's super cute I love these silk pants I like these and then it comes with the matching top gotta love the top so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on and then just throw on my Doc Martin sandals and call it a night. And if he ends up wanting to go to like maybe after hours, I'll just either keep my sandals on or we'll just come home. <laughs> or I'll get some heels or whatever. But yeah, these are cute. I'm fucking with it. Fucking with a little vibe. And this shirt goes like this. Oh. I'm pretty sure it's like already 11. Let me see what time it is. It's 10.50, so I got 10 minutes to get there. It only takes me 16 minutes to get to the movie theater. So by the time I get there, all of the previews should be over with. We've had all day to get ready, so I don't know why we're not ready already. Oh, hell, don't tell me this shirt's not going to fucking stay buttoned. My boobs are busting out of the shirt. And I did not keep the receipt. Or anything okay oh all right let me rip these off oh. all right ladies so this is the OOTD for tonight love it love it love it super cute got my Doc Martens on I'm loving the silk I'm loving the pockets it's not too tight I like that, it's cute. Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.